Hello, everybody. I am here with Pendle from Riverside. We are still at the podcast. I can't even say it. I keep calling it the London Podcast Show. It's the Podcast Show London. You'd think that after saying it like a million times, I've got it right yet. But it's okay. Practice with perfect. Absolutely. So, hi, Pendle. Welcome to the Lost. I am really excited because we have been talking. I want to say for nearly a year yes. of Kendall come on my podcast and between your um, like your work schedule, my work schedule, time zones, all the rest of it, it is now nearly a year to the day when we were like, hey, let's first do this. Yeah. So a year later, we literally just accosted you at the Riverside stand. I was like, well, you know, you're good. That's uh, you can be nicer to yourself than a cop. Oh, I, okay, that's that. I was excited. Oh, well, I, I still feel like I slightly accosted you and was like, oh. Kendall, let's record now, because so, otherwise we're going to have like another year of like not being able to. Well, it's okay. A year later and we still don't know how to say the podcast show, or is it London? The pod- no, the London- podcast show London. Podcast show yeah. London. But yes. in my mind, London podcast show, but it's not, is it? Because it's the podcast show in London, not, yeah. We're it's not very signed this. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I like how we're looking. Oh, yeah, no, oh, it's just it's the podcast show up there. It's just like, yeah, yeah London yeah, written in. 2024. We, we're really bad at this. <laughs> okay, next year, third year in a row, and we will get it, exactly. we'll get it right. It Absolutely. So, I was like, have you gone over to see this Spotify stand? Yes. I have, I walked by it. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. amazing. But if you go around, like, the side of it, there's this, there's, like, these five questions, and it's like a quiz, and then you do, scan a QR code at the end and it tells you the answers to the question so cool. i actually recorded an episode being like hey let's do this and i got really really cocky and i thought oh i'm totally going to know the answers to this but one of the questions was all about growth of like different areas of podcasting and i'm trying to think of all the options now it was like you know um audio podcast video podcast sped up podcast on, and something else like what has been the biggest growth in the last couple of quarters now i thought it was going to be sped up podcasting Me too. because i was like that's a pretty random one to put in there but it was random because it was decoy because the most like the biggest growth type of podcast in the last couple of quarters have been video podcasting which working for riverside is something that you totally know yes. all about so it's, it's not surprised me so much because i even though it, sitting here speaking with people a lot of people i speak to are like i'm an audio i know i need to get into video yep so and here we are doing audio only exactly talk but talking about video you know yeah. we're going so slowly yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no i think that it's definitely i think that it's definitely a huge thing that's growing like am i gonna be i'll be honest and say am i gonna watch an entire podcast video me personally probably not but i think that really where like the sweet spot of video podcasting comes is that you can make videos out of your conversations and put them on social media you're able to connect like kind of it's not face to face of course because through the computer but like people can see you they can connect with you because when you think about like how personal it is to pop your headphones in and listen to somebody speak throughout your day it's also personal to be able to like sit and watch their video you feel a certain connection yeah so i think that the biggest key factor of the reason why video podcasts are blowing up is because it's another piece of content that creators can make to make people want to listen, make them engage. So I usually like when I point to video podcasts, I point to you might not watch long form, but it's great for short form. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it's probably been made so much easier because first of all, we know that YouTube is just, well, it's YouTube. It doesn't need an introduction, but since they've had the functionality where you can actually list your podcast as a podcast on there, I think it just opens up this whole other kind of dynamic in some ways for video podcasting, doesn't it? Because it's just, it's a different way to interact with that content. So do you have any tips for anyone who wants to get into video podcasting or is maybe on the audio side of podcasting, doesn't want to, you know, isn't too sure about getting into the video world? What are your tips for that? I would say, like, don't overwhelm yourself. Like, start slow. Why not, when you're recording audio, why not record video? And then see, like, make a few clips, see if you like doing it. Then from there, you can continue to build. So I find that a lot of people, when they're talking about podcasting and what's next, they want to add video, they want to make a blog, they want to make a website for it, they're they're doing in-person, they want to go to a studio, and then suddenly it's this huge thing and they do none of it. So I would recommend, like, start slow. If you're recording audio, go on Riverside, it's, you can record video just as easily. 
and then like make a make a few posts about it make a add it to youtube see how it goes and then see if this is like something that you're enjoying doing and see if it kind of pays back it's not going to immediately you're not going to go viral but if you're able to see more people commenting more people liking like i see it on our own posts in in riverside a, a reel gets like 50 percent of its audience is people who follow us but percent of the audience is people who found it on the discover page so it opens you up to more people and it like those kind of metrics sometimes you need when you're recording by yourself like to see those kinds of metrics more views more comments like that can be a motivating factor of let's keep trying video let's see what else i can do with video so that's what i would start with i love that and i think i really want to pick up on what you were saying as well because i think you're right as creators we get so absorbed of i want to do everything more or more, more definitely i mean i was just listening to fern cotton's talk and she was talking about building up happy place and the business that happy place now is and that was one of the things she said is that she didn't start all of this overnight it's been like a what five six year journey and i think we end up as creators comparing ourselves to what people have now as opposed to where people started and i get that because we see what's in the here and now but yeah i was speaking with another creator and she said something that like really stuck with me she's like every new person that you see on the internet every person who looks like they came out of nowhere has been has five years of quiet creating under the belt so true yeah like everyone that you're like wow they blew up like that's been a quiet five-year journey for them before they got there so i would say that like it's not going to be an overnight thing but as you keep pushing it like it should be for you yeah like if you're getting this motivation of like seeing more views of that kind of thing like keep going with that that's gonna like if that's gonna help you motivate you so many people drop their podcasts like yeah they start, then they're like, okay, it's a lot. And I think it's either fatigue or they're not seeing that grow. Yeah. And so I think that it's about like continuing at your, at your own pace. Definitely. And I guess it's what are your original goals in the first place? Because I agree with you, people are like, oh, I'm not growing. But what they mean is that their last reel only reached like maybe 200 people. And it's like, but what if 200 of those people then okay. became, yeah, and became yeah. listeners? Surely that's better than your reel going viral and everyone going, oh yeah, that, well, that was funny. I like that. But none of them go and listen to the podcast. I think we get really, really caught up in these analytics of metrics, really, don't we? Like completely yeah. unnecessarily. I would say that besides social media, a trick of getting more people to listen to you. Like if you think about it, if you're scrolling on social media and I see a podcast I like, and to click out of my social media go into my podcasting app, download it, or, you know, like store it for later. Like if you're able to meet people where they are, as far as podcast listeners, like yes, on other shows, that is my biggest recommendation. And because those people are already listening, they can, they're already in that zone. They can just as easily add your podcast to their queue. And I think that's a really successful way of expanding if somebody wants to grow. Definitely. I love that. And making sure that you have links back to your shows as well. Like, when you guest at other places do you have a podcast at the moment i do not but i really want to what do you want to podcast about so i have a few working ideas i need okay. to find my niche okay you um, can pitch them down there i can go pitch them down there <laughs> i'm like i'm so nervous i don't know what i want to do um i kind of for a little bit for a little while i've been wanting to have um i have a lot i myself am a lesbian I have a lot of straight male friends and okay. they come to me with dating advice and we'll talk okay. about it. And I'm like, this would be a funny podcast, you know, brilliant. like kind of like dating, but about like with like a lesbian speaking from like a woman's perspective Do you know what? and speaking with these men. And it's also interesting to hear these men process these feelings and you're like, they're like, oh, but like, it, it's just funny that like, these conversations that you'll have that like teach you a lot. But are also just hilarious. So I kind of want to start that up. podcast. I have a friend who would be an amazing like co-host for one or two episodes. Yeah, because yeah, she would be totally on board with that. Every whenever we go out, she gets so involved with like the blokes as well. So she was also a lesbian. She's got a wife, and she's just so funny. And she's there, like almost giving giving tips and so i exactly. honestly no, i do think day, that totally yeah she'd be a for you. the other day um a friend of mine was like what do i say to this girl blah 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 we're talking and then he starts writing it in whatsapp and i was like 
No, dude. Go to the notes section on your phone. Yeah. And you write it out. Then you take an hour and you read it later. And yeah. I'm sure you want to send that. And it was like mind blowing to him to write the notes section. Every woman's writing the notes section. That's really, cause then you can have follow up episodes as well. Yeah. It could be like, do you remember, um, oh, what was it with Silla Black? Blind Date. Did you ever watch that? No. I oh, my gosh. Blind Date was an institution. You need to like quite small episodes. Basically, like people would get matched up, they'd go off on holiday. And then they would come back a little bit like, oh, what was that show that Paddy McGuinness did as well? Anyway, you get it. It was a it was a dating show. But they always did these follow up episodes of like, how did the couple actually get on? You should do stuff like that. I would really love to. I can see this being a whole thing. I, I feel like, like I'm feeling very shy. inspired yeah. Yeah, from just being here and like, I'm seeing all these people and I'm like, oh my gosh, all these people are doing it. What's holding me back? Why not try? So... Yeah. And you've got all the knowledge to do the video podcast. Yeah, yeah. Riverside. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you're literally in the perfect location <laughs> to do it. So, if you wanted somebody to take away one piece of actionable advice from this episode, what would it be? Um, I would, I think the actionable advice would be that if you are considering using video, try not to make it intimidating for yourself. Record your audio and your video and then play around with it. Like, you don't, no one's saying, like, no one's, like, uh, reserving a theater for your premiere. You know, like, there's no pressure. Just start. Try to do it. See if it's your thing. And the only thing they can do is help you discover more about who you are as a creator and maybe get you discovered by more audiences. So definitely try out a uh, uh, video podcasting message. Amazing. And obviously try out Riverside. With Riverside. Exactly. As well. We've done episodes. I will link the different episodes in the show notes below because we've done reviews on Riverside and the podcast. We've looked at magic clips and all of these different features. So go check that out in the show notes, those different episodes. I would love to say what numbers they are, but not having the episode list right in front of me, I can't tell you right now. So that's very disorganized of me. But Kendall, I'm so glad that we've done this. Yeah, thank you so much. Even another year. <laughs> and we'll figure out the name of the show. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like... I'm going to work on this. We got a year. And I'll be your first listener. I mean, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, <laughs> you so much for your time, Gadzor. Yeah, I do too.